All right, so I was led to do a reading, see what messages come through. I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet uh, what deck I'm going to use. It's totally just going to freestyle it. I wanted to get on here, so welcome to my channel, The Artsy Intuitive. And I'm going to go ahead and tap this bowl three times. So be a little loud. Here we go. Louder. to this deck, the astro deck. Let's tap into the stars, let's tap into, we got cancer here, reputation, house, okay, let's see this just go. Second house assets, twelfth house surrender. Hmm. Give me another one for these two. Oh my goodness, it's a lot. So keywords, material world, to me I feel like this is that, the physical, the 3D, possession, possessions, finance, talent, luxuries, wardrobe, values. Wow, it's really filling also with like, wow, surrendering, like letting go of the material aspect of uh, in a radical transformative way because we have Aries, the radical, and we have transformation, Pluto. So let's see. Subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness, baggage, trance states, the unseen, healing, Akashic records, prayer. With Libra, it's balancing out the physical realm with seeking Aries, Pluto, transformation, radical, tra radical transformation, so surrender to the radical transformation, this renewal, inner resources, basic instinct, motivation, death, rebirth, yes, rebirth, going through a rebirth, obsession, so paying attention to possession of, obsession, I mean, yeah, possession, obsession, basically. So the Libra idealist balance, harmony, harmonizing that balance, socially aware, artistic, people pleasing, fair, idealistic, graceful, aspirational. So we have seeking, ninth house, foreign travel, adventure, higher education, customs, faith, beliefs, pilgr pilgrimage, pilgrimages, <laughs> pilgrim. You know what I mean? Go say it. Spiritual quests, gurus, religion, journalism. Interesting journalism is in here. Risk taking. Yeah. And then the Aries, active, self starting, daring, fierce, assertive, fiery, exhilarating, on a mission. Yes, we are. A lot of us are star seeds. We've got 212 here, 2129. This is really fierce energy. Beautiful, though. I love it. Argumentative, competitive, impulsive. <laughs> but I feel like this is why we have Libra here with Aries to balance this out in a beautiful, beautiful way. Anything else? Let me see what other messages. We're going on a spiritual quest. 
seeking a lot of there's going to be a lot of new waves of other people awakening waking up okay so seeking a lot are seeking to get beyond just the physical realm and what we see and what i first refer is just the 3d matrix realm and we are ascending gaia is ascending and so we're here for a purpose okay pilgrimage pilgrimage spiritual quest all right, towards this Pluto transformation. So here we go, here's the picture. Pluto, Aries. Definitely can confirm this, I'm an Aries, so. I'm an Aries Libra, Pisces mixture. Okay, let's see what else we have. Ooh, bottom of the deck, because we have opportunity, sextile. Collaborates, assists, explains, provides opportunity, synergizes, creates possibilities for, opens door, promises, brings insight to, communicates, welcomes, and develops. Ooh, and we got Saturn, we got Saturn, Pluto, Aries, Libra. Opportunity for this to go beyond just the physical realm. And a lot of us are getting these new codes, new downloads, new information. This is how it feels, at least in my experience. All of a sudden, epiphany. And tomorrow is also on the calendar for the sixth epiphany. There are so many synchronicities when you pay attention to the universe and really be in sync. Connect to source, because I feel like that has been the lie for so long is that that is outside of you and when it's inside when it's within you this connection is within you and it gives you power gives you empowerment and that is the transformation and the wisdom that you have the opportunity to surpass any illusions being open to opportunities open to transformation so wisdom is here, Saturn, discipline, structure, time, the whole time construct. Oh, I can get into that, but I won't. <laughs> Responsibility, tests, ambition, realism, self-control, restraint, grounding, practicality, discipline. And perception, there we go, that makes sense perceiving third house okay. speech thoughts social media excursions dating siblings research street life circulation discussions discussions surroundings and social social sociability thank you speech thoughts right yes right perception and each of our own perceptions all right where we're going to what timeline that we're on what did we choose oh, love or fear Sagittarius energy the Voyager and right beneath that is Uranus 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 <laughs> revelation right so this perception of what is an asset honestly what is your spiritual asset and also surrendering to surrendering letting go for the akashic records and prayer this is all about also karma all right positive karma it depends on what right depending the sop the sop pardon me with these it's honestly easy for easier for me to telepathic communicate than words sometimes especially these energies okay anyways <laughs> what was I saying oh, we got two angels as well the angels on here wings got lots of wings angels airplanes yeah lots of wings so that's definitely a, um, a sign lots of support right now hundred thousand angels you can look that song up by bliss it's beautiful Okay, 
So breakthroughs, brainstorming, originality, humanitarianism, the unexpected, rupture, freedom, surprise, and awakening. This is the outlook, ascendant, we're ascending, we're ascending. And usually there is some sort of a cycle shift. So I love that they have this, the ascendant, the outlook with that key hole right there. We have the key, you have the keys right within you all along. Outlook. The alchemist Virgo is also here with Capricorn the boss and Venus. Okay, I'll just stop it there, thank you. So yeah, the alchemist, aligned, efficient, pure, subtle, perfectionist. Also, it's like, ah, just surrender to that. Capricorn the boss, which we are in Capricorn season. Serious, ambitious, realistic, structured, traditional, accomplished, badass. I love that. Rigid discipline. So a lot about discipline. I feel like it's discipline to your spiritual journey and your awakening. So with love. Oh, we got Venus. So we got Venus. Yeah. Capricorn and Virgo and Venus, the boss in love, and al I like that, al alchemy, alchemizing your bossness, all right, that sovereign, sovereignty, very cool, so let's see what other messages come through with the monology deck. opportunity to surpass the illusion of just the 3D matrix, matrix realm because we're evolving higher wisdom coming through we know this our soul our higher self so I was in the flow there okay hold on oh my goodness Adjustments are required. So that's what we have. Alignment. The ad adjustments. Ugh. See? Adjustments are required. And I've got a stack of other cards. Your dreams need a practical plan. So taking the necessary steps. Also being open-minded. And surrender to the, the divine. The divine's wisdom. Which is within you. Next, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio, full moon in Taurus, third quarter moon. So release the negativity. If something feels off, take a deep breath. And ask to just clear all the way through. Actually, let's go ahead and spray. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yay! You're very close to achieving your goal. Surrounded by the trees, the nature, the beautiful, wonderful trees of Gaia. Gibeus moon. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn and show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Lots of full moon energy. So those are the cards, okay. Taking the necessary adjustments. Practically going forward. It's like work, it's all, like all flowing together. All right, the mask and the feminine energies within you. Be practical, yet also tapped in to your higher self. Straight connected to source. And to pay attention to any negativity, energies that need to be cleared, transmuted, because we're so close to this goal here. Now, 
show the real you because your heart and your hard work is paying off all the work that you've been doing with on yourself with yourself is paying off yeah medit so it's talking about meditating contemplating message in a bottle metamorphosis and vision quest the desert yeah so the spiritual awakening journey that you've been on your vision quest a lot of a lot of it is yes it's solitude you do it on your own me myself and I and you transform into this beautiful butterfly and we're constantly growing it's a beautiful thing so hearts coming together unity people coming in together with the those two flamingos and it forms a heart that will be transforming messages also let me get more information on this one. Where, where do you want me? <laughs> Spirit. Thank you for being patient. What's message in a bottle? What's message in a bottle? Wow. Okay, so message in a bottle. I really feel like it's also about hearing the messages, hearing the call, heeding the call, listening to spirit, getting messages, communicating with others. Okay, pretty self explanatory. We've got, let's see, what, what is he holding? Hmm, or she? There's the phone inside there. Okay, so we've got coming apart, rock bottom, and golden palace. So receiving a message or communicating about um, a, a separation or hitting a rock bottom, it's in reverse, so it could have happened already. But coming into a knowing that the temple, uh, the heaven on earth, 5D earth, 5D consciousness, higher consciousness, this golden palace is right within the, within you, within us. It's like growing, it's like communicating about, it could be communicating about a home as well. I think it's an angel. Look at the angel messages. Angels, what so we got? Yes, learning researching, reading, studying, learning. This journey, you really learn a lot. You learn about yourself and so many things. So, Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Every day is a learning day. Something I feel like is See how her her third eye is like glowing? Epiphany. Tomorrow's the day of epiphany. So I feel like a lot of people are their eyes are now open and they're seeing seeing more clearly, reading about something and it's opening them opening themselves up. And all of a sudden see how like there's all this math and like equations. That to me is like codes coming in, the light codes and information that you now could, it's like divine opportunity, divine timing. And all of a sudden you will get ideas, downloads, things that you haven't thought of before. And it's perfect divine timing. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. Move your body. It really says move, but you're going to move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. Oh, my goodness. So 
so beautiful. I feel like I gotta stretch now. Alright. What else? Study and learning, move your body. Ooh, manifesting miracles. Yes, spiritual support. Ooh, ooh, yes. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. Hence what I was just saying. Hence, when, when did I say that? Where's that uh, Her heart chakra is, grow, is lighting up. And, and then she has... Yeah, she... Oh, okay, it looks like a jewel maybe. But anyways, it's the diamond light codes. Like, awakening. It's like the light turns on. That's what it feels like. The light turns on. Whoa. Boom. So something that somebody study and learning. Learning. Move your body. Okay, we went over that. Thank you, Orion, for mass. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. I grow spiritually aware with beautiful presence and what did I say there's a lot of wings in this this reading so lots of angelic support a hundred thousand angels miracles manifestation your metamorphosis our metamorphosis as a collective and they're all supporting you the three the Trinity I've been getting lots of threes lately, too. Open up your heart. Thank you, Chamuel, Chamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Your heart is like your, it's your superpower. Yeah, it's your superpower. Look at abundance. It's your magic. Your, your heart, your beautiful heart. And then I have to take this one out because this is Justice, Lady Justice here. Balance the scales. Gosh, remember that time? If you watch my videos back, maybe a couple months, I was getting the scales, Justice, the Justice card constantly. Sorry. So, things coming into balance. Truth. And then bottom, we have healthy choices. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. Okay. Ooh, this card's sticking out. What, what is it? Letting go. Right. Yes. Especially when you, it's like you become the butterfly, you let go of being a caterpillar. Green calcite. And this message. Oh, this is also a beautiful card that I got yesterday. And then I got the song right when I was looking at it. Um, oh, wishing well. It's like a jukebox in my mind sometimes. I have random songs. It's probably from the 80s. Anyways, so it's like the illusions, the the masks, the falseness, the fakeness, the all coming off and enjoying your abundance, your wishing well, the gold. And that, that's a three too, it's 48. And it breaks down to a three. All right. How long is this? 24 minutes. Okay, let's get some Ascended Masters in here. Yes! Joan of Arc. Voice of Truth. Didn't I just say that? The Truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. So release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. The Lilies. Which... I'm getting innocence. 
like an innocence. The sword of truth. Ooh, man. I don't know how you could that I don't know how we could top that. That's perfect for this uh, reading right now. Voice of truth. Valerian, divine healing with hope, just faith. Ooh, I didn't know I didn't see this one. Ooh, getting connection from the stars, connection from the galactics. Sacred geometry. Merkaba. Awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts. Divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Lots of light codes here. This is what I saw in the clouds today. They're outside in the sky. It kind of looked like this. What I was saying. Light codes. I don't know if it's, you can see it very well. It's not as good as what I'm seeing, but anyways, your light can support others. So just keep shining your light, clearing, moving your body will help with the, the divine healing and this beautiful green energy to come through. Protectiveness, protection, you are protected. Hope, faith. Honestly, I I resonate more with the word faith and hope. Is hope is this like hoping for something? Faith is having faith. And it's it's perseverance. It's not always like easy, easy, whatever that means, but like, you know what I mean. So I like to say faith, having faith and trust, but love is yours. Choose loving thoughts. This is your voice of a truth, your voice of truth, this awakening presence within you, within others. You're going to notice this more healers coming out, divine healing out of the desert something healing oh I'm just channeling <laughs> channeling messages here healing divine healing sensitivity supporting others okay ooh the sacred vision Miriam more lilies I think those are lilies peace lilies or I could be wrong Three, there's a three again. This reminds me of obviously the divine counterparts, the twin souls, twin flames, their mission, their purpose, being awakened with the heart, the sisterhood of the rose, the rose, the mere reflection. Choose to forgive. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all and remember that love has no boundaries. Love has no boundaries. And then we have Kuan Yin. Ooh, yes. Beautiful Kuan Yin. Oh my goodness. Great reading. This outlook. Your roots. I was just curious what was on the top. Taurus. Comfortable. Yeah. I mean, it is part of this journey of spiritual awakening, of getting too comfortable in the illusions, right? It's seeing the truth, even though if it's challenging or if it's difficult, we will keep rising and 
Yeah, I think I ended it that. Okay, let me, I want to do this one more time. Yes, this is your spiritual abundance. This is your divine inheritance. Just keep speaking your truth. Wear the armor of God. You're protected. Many blessings, and I will talk to you guys later. See if this works. Bye.